Hey guys, it's Jim. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about the orange and teal look. It's sort of a cinematic look, and I'll be really honest, um, I never really paid a whole lot of attention to it. And until I really started experimenting with it in these photos, I, I didn't really care for it. Um, so let me explain. Uh, someone wrote me a, a while back and said, hey, how do you create that cinematic sort of orange and teal look in Luminar? And the truth is, it's really easy. Uh, but like I said at the time, uh, I hadn't really thought much about it. So um, now I've had the time to sit down and sort of play around with it. And it's actually really easy to do. Uh, and now that I am familiar with it, I'm, I'm noticing it everywhere. You see it in movies. You see it in lots of photos. It's all over Instagram. And it's really um, used a lot like in... Uh, uh, night shots and cityscapes and things like that, but you can use it on landscapes too. So if uh, if you haven't noticed it, you may start to once you watch this video, uh, or you can just Google, uh, you know, the orange and teal look and you know Photoshop or whatever and uh, and movies and things like that, and you'll find it. So the way I do it, uh, there's two to three sliders: uh, color balance, split toning, and sometimes HSL. So let me walk you through that. The whole point here is that you pretty much take the shadows and you make them kind of blue, which is the cyan here in the color balance slider. And then you take the highlights and you kind of make them orangey, uh, kind of reddish, right? And, and the reason this works is it, there's a whole lot of color contrast between the orange and the teal because they're on opposite sides of the color wheel. So it actually looks pretty cool. Let me show you what it looks like. If you take the shadows that way and the highlights kind of this way, and there you go, really, it's, it's literally that easy in a lot of photos. You can see it's a massive difference. And like I said, at first I didn't really care for the look, but now that I've been playing with it on so many photos, I kind of like it. Um, it's kind of cool. So that's how you can do it with color balance. You can also do it with split toning. Same kind of thing. You, your highlights are kind of going a little bit to the orange. So I chose orange up here and I'm, I'm dragging the saturation that way. And then the shadows, I kind of want to get in the, the teal sort of band. And there you go. So that's, uh, that's a similar look. Let me show you the before and after. Once again, um, I liked the look on color balance, but I didn't really try to refine it much here. But that's how you can do it quick and easy. Let me show you a couple of other photos. By the way, that previous photo was already edited, as are these other photos. I've already done my typical sort of standard approach in Luminar and edited them to my normal sort of style, if you will. Um, I'm doing them differently here. So these are pre-edited. You can obviously do this same thing with unedited photos, but I'd recommend adding in contrast, detail, clarity, whatever you might want to do, which has already been added in these photos because they're pre-edited. So if you're using the HSL panel, I'd start in hue. I'd take the orange a little bit to the left. I'd take the blue a lot further to the left. And then depending on the photo, you might take the saturation up a little bit on the orange and maybe up some on the blue as well. And there you go, very blue and teal, excuse me, orange and teal. And let me show you the before and after. There's the standard photo that I edited, and there's the after. Like I said, I see it a lot more like cityscapes and night shots, but now that I look at this, um, I kind of like it on a landscape. It actually looks pretty cool. So it's giving me some ideas to play with on other photos in the future. Let me show you another one. Here's a sunset in Florence, Italy. I'm going to do the same kind of thing. Shadows kind of going to the left on the cyan and uh, highlights kind of to the right. Now I'm going to use all three filters in this uh, this photo and that's the thing I've found is that it really just depends on the photo as to which of these three you know uh, you know whether you use one or two or all three of them. In this photo I'm going to use all three and let me finish doing that here and that's only because uh, you know when I was playing around with it I sort of got to where I liked uh, the particular look and there you go, that's kind of the orange and teal look. Let me show you the before and after again. There it is, right? So you can see sort of the standard sunset and here's the a little bit more cinematic orange and teal. The other thing about split toning, if you weren't familiar, is you can move the uh, balance slider to uh, air more to the end of uh, the spectrum. If you like the highlights color better, you go to the right. In this case, I like the shadows color a little bit better, sort of that, that tealish blue. So I go a little bit to the left. And there you go, one more time, there's a before and after. So quick and easy, here's one more shot. This is downtown Austin. I'm just gonna do the same thing. The cyan kinda to the left um, for the shadows. Highlights kinda to the right. HSL, I'm gonna do a little bit of the orange to the left, a lot more of the blue. I'm gonna do a little split toning here, just to kinda get those tones going. And then I'm gonna do quite a bit more on the shadows. And, and, and again, I'm gonna do the balance slider. 
Now on this one, I might come in and say, you know what, it's a little too saturated in some of the reds and oranges, so maybe take that down. Let me show you the before and after, right? Very different look. That's how I edited this photo in Luminar prior. And there it is, much more sort of cinematic, almost kind of spooky um, sort of look. So that's how you do it, very simple. Three filters, right? Color balance, HSL, and split toning. Use all three of them, maybe use one, maybe use two. It doesn't matter, experiment with the photo. Basically you're taking and shoving sort of the cyan kind of teal um, bluish color into the shadows and you're taking sort of the orangey and sticking that kind of in the highlights and then just letting them uh, play off of each other that way because of the inherent color contrast. Because as, as I said earlier, they're on opposite sides of the color wheel. Just a fun experiment. It looks cool, I think, particularly on nighttime cityscapes. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me, let me know. And thanks for stopping by. See you next time, friends, and adios. See ya.